Hello, I'm Brenda Medley, and we're continuing our discussion on growing prophetically, growing up. You know, God has need of you. He wants to use you to encourage somebody, to lift somebody's burdens. He wants to use you that somebody will be saved. Somebody will be delivered and set free. Are you ready? Are you ready for the call that God has placed on your life? God wants you to continue to grow. Hallelujah. So that you can serve him and his people well. Let us pray. Lord, our hearts are open to you. Help us, Lord God, that we might grow and be to your glory and honor that men, women, boys, and girls will be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope that you've had opportunity uh, to hear the other two videos on growing prophetically. And so this is actually the third video. And we're gonna talk a little more about it. I want to talk about what do you do when you don't understand the word that God has given you? See, this is all a part of growing prophetically. You've got to learn how God speaks to you as an individual. You got to understand and know what symbols does he use? Uh, does he use nature? Does he use music? Does he speak to you through what you see spiritually or what you hear or what you discern or feel? There is so much for you to learn. So what do you do when you don't quite understand? And I will tell you, there will always be times that you don't quite understand, especially in the beginning, there are things that you won't quite understand. So what do you do? absolutely know that it's the Holy Spirit that has spoken to you, but the meaning of what the Holy Spirit said is unclear. How do you handle that? Amen. Well, you have to be very, very um, careful because if not, it's possible that because you misunderstand, the word that you give the person that you're speaking to will be inaccurate. They may misunderstand. It may not even be the right word. Um, and so we have to depend on the Lord and find out what he wants us to do. How do we do that? How do we grow so that we have better understanding of God? Well, one of the analogies that I enjoy using is the fact that knowing the voice of God, that's number one. How do you know God's voice? Well, you know your mother's voice, your father's voice, your husband's voice, your wife's voice, your your sister's voice, your brother's voice, your children's voices. How do you know all of these voices? Because you have relationship. You speak to them regularly. You know when they're upset. You know when they're happy, they're sad, they're angry. You know excitement. They don't even have to tell you. You know when something is going on in their lives just by the tone of their voices. And we can get, uh, we can have that kind of clarity uh, with the Holy Spirit when we are in fellowship with him on a regular basis, when we start listening to the word of God, listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit, because as we know, he's not always going to speak to you in the same way. Elijah found that out. He didn't come in the thunder. He didn't come in the lightning. He didn't come with a loud noise, but he came with a still, soft voice. Amen. And so we have got to engage the Holy Spirit by speaking to him on a regular basis, asking the Holy Spirit to help us to be in tune with, the, with his voice. Glory to God so that we can decipher his voice from other voices. Because you see, 
We all know the voice of the enemy. We know the devil's voice, but we need to know the Lord's voice. And you can know the voice of the Lord when you spend time with him on a regular basis. God wants us to understand revelation. In other words, he wants to be able to drop something simple in your spirit, but you understand it because you understand how God speaks. You understand his character. You understand his boob. Praise God. And so in the beginning, and really throughout your prophetic ministry, what we need to do is pray for clarification. There are times that you don't need to release a word right away until after you prayed about it and you get clarification on what the Holy Spirit is saying and how he wants you to release it because you can't even speak to everybody in the same way. Paul said to the wise, I am wise. To the weak, I become as weak. And so there are certain people that you have to be careful how you deliver the word. We can't be harsh. Sometimes you got to add a little extra salt. You got to add a little extra love. You got to let them know that you are genuinely concerned about their well-being. You're concerned about what's going on in their lives. Praise God in order for them to hear what God is saying, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with waiting on the Lord to be pure. We should never, ever just give a vague word, amen, to somebody and then leave it to them to figure out what it means. I want to give you an example. This happened several years ago, amen. There was a woman and she was prophesying to another woman and I just happened to be in that service. And she said to the woman, God said mountain. And so of course the person she was prophesying to was confused. And she asked her, she said, she looked so bewildered and she said, what did you say? God said mountain. And so, she was baffled and she said, okay, well, what about the mountain? And the woman said, I don't know. God just said mountain. And of course, the receiver of that word was terribly perplexed. She didn't know what it meant. God does not give obscure messages. There will be times that God may give you a message that you don't understand the message in its entirety because the message is not for you. It's for the other person. But God will never just give a word that has no meaning to the other person. You know, as you grow in the Lord and you know his voice, Amen. He may sometimes just drop one word, but when he drops that one word, the, the recipient of that word will understand what that word means. And if they don't, then the Holy Spirit will come back and he will tell you more to be able to give to that person so that the person can receive the word and act upon what it is that God wants them to say or see or change, amen. And so uh, over time, we learn how to give a word, a, a word of certainty, not just a vague word, not just a word that will fit anybody's situation, anybody's circumstance. And so we need to wait. We need to wait on God. Wait on the word that God is giving us so that we can give people a word that makes sense to them, a word that they can receive, a word that can transform their lives. Listen, let's not be a hurry, in a hurry. Um, 
God is going to do what he said he's going to do. His word will not come back boy. When he sent it out, it's going to accomplish exactly what he sent it out to accomplish. If you have not subscribed, I invite you to do so. I also invite you to become a member and a sponsor of my channel to receive perks. I have all kinds of perks. There's a newsletter. You'll receive a monthly newsletter. Um, I will respond to your questions and your comments. Uh, you will have my undivided attention. There will be special, special uh, videos for those who are members and also you will have the opportunity from time to time to sit in on some of the prophetic classes. And those are just only a few perks, but I invite you to be a part. And look, tell your friends, tell others that you know who are prophet prophetic. And I look forward to seeing you next time in Jesus' name.